my god! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. And today, no surprise, as you can see from the screen right now, we are going to be playing Left 4 Dead. This is a classic Valve game. It's not a, the oldest game I've ever played. It's, uh, well, what is it, 11 years old now? Came out in 2005, I think. I uh, could be wrong on that, but it, it isn't a new game, per se. But I've definitely played much older games. Um, as I've said before, you know, I have to start sprinkling in some newer games because although my channel will focus on playing older games, um, the book that I'm working from, 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die, has, has games from all eras in it. And so at some point we have to start visiting some of these more modern classics. And uh, I've actually been sort of randomly selecting them for a little while. And this was one that came up randomly and I thought, you know what, I like that game. I'm going to give it a try. I haven't played it in, God, it must have been like eight years or so. You guys like my little monkey icon up there? Okay, hard drive. I have not played my Xbox 360 in oh, years. I mean, I've played Halo periodically, but I haven't like played it, played it. Okay, here we go. Let's just, I always like to check the options just to see. These days, I mean, in older games, you could set the number of lives and stuff. These days, it tends to just be audio, video, controller stuff. Um, let's just go ahead and hop in here. Wait, I don't want to join. I don't want to play. Play as a survivor. I just want to play by myself. Is that a thing? Is that still possible? Oh, play single player. There we go. I don't like playing with other people. Uh, normal, advanced, expert, easy. We'll start on normal. I'll try. I'll try two chapters of this, and we'll do the apartment random. Ah, that's good. Here we go. I like this movie poster that starts that, that starts off every every level. So there's like five chapters or something, and every chapter has its own movie poster, and it kind of shows your characters um, on the poster, which is pretty awesome. In actuality, apparently each chapter they seem pretty disconnected, but there is a an overall plot that connects them all together. But this game is very light on plot, as you'll see. This is okay. So this is a zombie action survival shooter. It was a terrific game when it came out. It has a real emphasis on co-op and helping each other out. There are some enemies... Ooh, I'm the old guy. Francis. There are some enemies that you can only... Oh, wait. Turn one side. Yeah, the Uzi's pretty good. But there are some bad guys you can only beat as a team. Um, so if you get kind of caught, you actually need your buddy's help. That's why the computer's filling in the dots here. And playing as um, well, my pal. Okay, let's not waste the good bullets here. Okay, so there is no zoom really. Uh, how do I reload? Nope, that spins me around. Every time you play a new game, you kind of have to experiment with the buttons. I think that's one reason why like older people are not good with computers, is they're afraid of like pressing buttons as if they're gonna break the computer. But we youngins, we know. I say youngins as if I'm young. I'm not that young. But we young-ish ins. We know that, you know, if you don't know how something works, just start pressing buttons. You'll figure it out. Oh god. Get away from me, zombie. Uh oh. Oh, oh my god. Who was supposed to be guarding the rear because you failed? Holy crap, look at them all. Whoa, what is that thing? Ah! Help me! Whew, Zoe, you saved me. Girl, I'll be watching your back. I will be watching your back. I hear something else. Audio cues are a big part of this game. Okay, hear this zombie who's coughing? He was a zombie who smoked a lot as a human. And now... Oh, did you see that tongue? That was his tongue. They call him a... Oh, God. And do you hear this other zombie? He ate too much chicken as a human. It's gonna be a fat zombie coming around the corner any second. Reloading. They call him a bloater. Or something like that. Clear the rooms as we go, people. Clear the rooms. Whoa, and watch out. Ah, how do I... Melee! Trying to help you guys. Ah, something spit on me! Oh my god, this game is so action-packed I can barely talk. 
Okay, so this game is co-op focused. One of the other cool, unique elements of this game is something called the director. There is an AI that is observing your gameplay as you play this game, and the better you do, the, the tougher it makes the game. And the idea is that the director is supposed to create a fair gameplay experience for people of all skill levels. So if you start sucking at the game, the director will actually make the game a little easier. It will give you more health packs, drop some weapons, and so on. If you're owning it the game, it'll make it harder. And actually, that is something that I think is super cool. I can't think of too many other games that have dynamically adjusting difficulty and an AI that kind of monitors your progress and alters the level of it as you go. I think that is so cool. And I would love to know if there are other games that I just don't know about or... Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, pipe bombs. We want one of those. God, I, I hear something. There's something unhealthy in here with us. Some kind of gross zombie who's burping a lot. Okay, so we got a pipe bomb. That'll be our, like, emergency thing. Nobody else wants the other pipe bomb. Seriously? Pills here. We've got pills. Take those, too. Thank you. Oh, God. Ah! Holy crap. Hey, did you guys lock me in here? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, we got a whole bunch of zombies. So these are fast-moving zombies. I know that people have real, like, preferences in terms of, like, fast versus slow-moving zombies. Some people really find the fast-moving zombies kind of cheap. Ooh. Dual pistols. I like that. Okay. I, I don't have a big problem with the fast-moving zombies. I was a real fan of the modernized Dawn of the Dead movie. That movie was one of my favorite zombie movies, and it had fast-moving zombies. I know that people will say, oh, you know, but it's not realistic. If you die and you're a zombie, you're going to move slow like a corpse. Let's be honest here. Zombies, as cool as they are, are not realistic. Period. So, you know, we could get into a debate about what's more realistic, but it's like talking about... You know, what's more realistic out of something that doesn't exist and is a complete fantasy? I mean, what, it's all not realistic. It doesn't exist. Just up the street. You really gotta wonder what these people did before the zombie apocalypse. They're pretty good at killing. I mean, one guy is clearly a soldier. Wait, okay. No, wait, I'm the soldier. He's a biker. He was like an office worker, and I don't know what her story was. She's too cute to know how to use a gun that well. It's kind of scary, actually. Maybe she was like a cop or something. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm just being, like, totally sexist. Cute girls can't know how to kill people. Let's be real here. Anyone can kill anyone when there are guns involved. And actually, that's a pretty scary thought. Moving on from the the social commentary and gun violence. Oh, that, that's another soldier. You make it very well. Oof. One interesting thing about this game is it doesn't really seem to matter if I do headshots or not. I'm not good enough to be doing reliable headshots, but I'm putting zombies down without much problem. Jeez, zombies. Why you gotta be so angry all the time? They just sound like you're not having fun. They're like, bleh, bleh. Uh-oh. Again, you can tell by the music uh, tunes what's happening. Like, when the music changed right there, I could tell a swarm of zombies or, like, a tank was on the way. So a tank is a super strong zombie that we have not seen yet. He doesn't come up too often. For good reason. I mean, he is a nightmare when he, when he appears. I'm actually afraid of the tank. <laughs> totally honest with you. Oh god, I shot that guy right in the butt as he was just hanging out. Everybody get in here. Get in here. Oh god. You idiot. Get in here. Get in here, 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 get in here. Thank you. Woo! We did it! I killed 86 zombies. Well, I mean, I should. I am the human in this. Uh, did I... 
Uh, I took a I took a fair amount of damage. Cursed Monkey, you guys like that name? That was my old nickname on uh, Xbox. I don't know how I came up with that monkey or that monkey, that name. Okay, here we are. Let's see. She's going to the bathroom. These guys are all picking up weapons. I'll take that. Oh, we can heal ourselves. Healing yourself. Cause look at all these extra med kits just hanging out. Are you guys seriously not gonna use these? Okay, well here, let's. Wait, how do I do this? I'll heal you up, buddy. Like the the good Samaritan I am. And we got so many spare med kits here. Let's heal her too. Don't worry, I'm healing you. This is all legit. Don't mind where I touch you. Just healing you. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, zombies. So our plan, I guess, is to get out of the city. That's always the plan in these, like, oh, that guy died in a weird way. It's always everyone's plan in a zombie apocalypse. I wonder, though, like, what would be the most efficient plan? I know that, like, scientists have actually done, like, I wouldn't say studies. Oh, I got an achievement. What? I never had this achievement before? I've owned this game for like a decade. How did I, how's there still achievements to be unlocked? Hey, what are you doing up here? Hanging out in a vent? Seriously. Oh God. Oh God. What's in this vent? Anything good? Another zombie who's just, he was having a moment. He was contemplating life as a zombie. Okay. Why am I going through the vents? I gotta wonder. I, I, I know this is not the way to go. Oh man, I'm like, kind of committing to this. Okay, forget about these vents, these are stupid. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on. I, I hear music that means there's a witch near. So a witch is this female zombie who cries, and if you startle her, oh man, you better run. She can take you out in like one hit. It's very actually scary. This game does a real good job of capturing the fear of being in a zombie apocalypse. There's a fat one over here too, isn't there? There's like special zombies everywhere. Oh, and this guy? Oh, the jumper! Or the hunter, or whatever the hell he's called. Oh, uh-oh. Man, there's, there's guys everywhere! Okay. Ugh. That is gross. Looks like hamburger. Oddly enough, it doesn't put me off eating meat. We guys are pretty resilient to violence. We're not really phased by it too much. Or at least the type of guy like me who plays these violent games. Oh god! Fat dude. Can I jump over this? Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. Alright, here we go. Guys, try and keep up here. If you can. Please. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you take the pills. Anyway, they're always trying to get out of cities in zombie apocalypses. As if they, once they get to the country, everything will be safe. But I don't know, like, what do you guys think is the actual best strategy in a zombie apocalypse? Because you gotta figure, like, if you go out to the country, yeah, you'll be a little bit safer because there might be less zombies. But, like, where are you going to find ammo for your guns? Where are you going to find food? I mean, I guess you could grow it in the country, but that would take a long time. Cities have, like, massive grocery stores full of food. You'd be able to eat for, for weeks and months if you just stayed in the city. Plus, there's a lot of cover. And, uh... Oh, God, do you hear that crying? That's not a good thing. There's a lot of cover in a city, a lot of places to hide. Back off, zombie. I just punched him. Here, I'll punch this guy, too. Boom! I'm, like, hoarding my uh, Uzi ammo, because you can run out of it. Maybe I should actually start using it. Oh, my God. Look at them all! Look at them all! Okay, hold on. That should ought to take care of them. Stupid zombies. So my own idea about where you might want to go in a zombie apocalypse is that, oh shit, is that the witch? 
Oh god, look at her. Look at her crying. You hear that freaking creepy music? I'm just gonna try and sneak by her. Okay. Oh shoot, I wasn't even supposed to come in here. Oh my god, somebody help me. Okay, we're good. We're good. We did not disturb her. Maybe I'll disturb her in the, the second level I do, just for kicks, just so you can see. Here we go. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me. So my only idea about where to go in a zombie apocalypse is that you might want to go north. Here's my, here's my thinking. When you go up north, like, not super far up north. I'm not talking like, you know, the Northwest Territories or anything like that. But, you know, come to Toronto. Hey, you know what? If zombies break out tomorrow, I'm inviting you guys all to come hang out in Toronto. Because here's the thing. Summers are, are pretty good. Summers are pretty... Oh, God. Help me. Thanks, guys. Oh, you know what funny thing is? If a character dies, then later on, you'll, like, come across a closet and you'll actually find them in there being like, Help me! So it's like, guys actually don't die. They come back. It's kind of funny. Anyway, summers are quite mild, but winters can be quite cold, quite chilly. We're far enough up north that winters can be quite chilly, and, and that's, you know, just how it is. But winters are bad enough that if you don't wear winter, you know, coats and stuff, and you just hang out outside all the time like zombies probably do, you would suffer severe frostbite, bite, and you would just deteriorate. Like, flesh would just deteriorate. Living or dead, you would become a skeleton. And so my thinking is, like, if you went and held up in, like, a city like Toronto for a couple of years, go through a couple of winters, most of the zombies in the Toronto area would just freeze themselves out of existence, and they wouldn't really be a problem for you. Yes. Assault rifle. This is what I want. So we have assault rifle or sniper rifle. No, nah, we want the assault rifle. M16, baby. M freaking 16. All right, let's go. Guys, keep up. Do not fall behind, my friends. So yeah, I would say, I think going somewhere cold is, is a good idea. Because I do not know how to farm or anything like that, I probably would not try to head to the country. Although, I don't know, maybe, maybe it would make sense um, early on. You know, when there's just tons of zombies in the city, you would have to head to the country. I don't know. I mean, what do, do, do any of you guys out there have, like, a zombie survival plan? I have some friends who... Or not friends, but, I mean, I've heard of people online who, who have those things. Hey, get out of here. And I always think it's kind of funny, because, like, realistically, you know, zombies are never going to be a thing. But it doesn't stop people from creating zombie survival plans. I mean, a, sur a survival plan in general is a good idea, because... Zombies may not be real, but certainly other bad things could happen. And it's always good to be prepared, I'll say. Oh man, look at all this stuff. Look at all these zombies. Oh, there's a turret over here. Oh, we gotta use this. Gotta get to the turret. Fight our way over there. You know, I played this game with a friend in, uh, in university. And it gave her nightmares. And I gotta say, I don't I don't blame her for, for getting nightmares for playing this. I personally don't really get nightmares from playing violent games. I think I've just played so many in my day that like it's like whatever, I don't know, I just slaughtered 60 people. Doesn't really phase me. But certainly okay, we just gotta go check this turret out. I don't mind shooting you, in fact. Uh, I wish I had this thing when the zombies came. Oh well. Whatever. Let's peace out here, guys. We got what we needed. Oh, jeez. So yeah, I don't know. I never, I, never got, I never got nightmares from this kind of stuff. I don't even know what gave me nightmares as a kid. I guess when I was a kid, if I played really violent things or scary things, I would get nightmares. But not as an adult. Ooh, I hear a helicopter. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I I have a good feeling about this, guys. I think it's going to be okay. Whoever's flying that helicopter will take us to the country the way we want. Everything's going to be just fine. This this is going to be a rom-com from now on. Trust me. 
Okay, I am taking some pills so I feel a little better. Where the hell are we going? Oh, there's a fat dude. Jeez, he's fat for a fat guy. Reloading. Got a weapon here. Uh, pistol, we don't need that. Oh god. Holy crap, it's a tank. It's a tank, it's a tank, it's a tank, it's a tank, it's a tank. Eat the Molotov, you bastard! Oh, and I just... <laughs> I just, like, trapped us in the building here. Uh-oh. My team's in a lot of trouble here. Oh, man. Did he just totally kill... Kill Zoe? Oh, man. He killed the other guy, too. Holy crap. It's just two of us. Uh-oh. No, get it. Get off of him. Dude, we got a piece out right now. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> Can we run? Get to the pawn shop, people. Oh my god, dude. We just let them die. Okay, nobody has to know. If we find other survivors, it's always just been the two of us, okay? We don't know anyone else. There never was Zoe and that other guy, Francis. They didn't exist. I know. I know she's dead. Come on. Forget about her. Oh, God. Look at all these guys. Ice them all. Get, ve get vengeance. Uh-oh. I hear like... A oh, shoot. Here they come. That's not good. Oh, God. They're all around me. No, 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 Francis. Dude, do not die. Or Lewis, whoever you are, stay alive. Oh my god, look, they're all swarming around him. Poor bastard. They see he's absorbing everything so that I survive. Oh my god, if he dies and it's just me, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, guys. Yeah, get away from him. Leave him alone, he's my best friend. He's the only friend I've ever had, I swear. Okay. Uh... Is this where we have to go, by the way? Health. Get in here, dude. Get in here. Dude! What are you waiting for? Get in here. Oh my god. Well, we lost... We lost 50% of our team on that, but I, all in all, I would say it was a successful outing. Hey, we're in a zombie apocalypse. Not everyone's gonna make it. If you've watched The Walking Dead, you know. Not everyone makes it. Although... If you have fan support, then you definitely are going to make it. Walking Dead, that's one. Oh, and look, they're back. Oh, hey guys. Um, sorry about leaving you to die back there. It was uh, nothing personal. It was just sort of one of those things where, you know, it was either you or me, and let's face it, in that scenario, it's going to be you. Just saying. That's what I want. I want my freaking M16. Ching. All right, here we go. I was a huge fan of Walking Dead when it was new. I think a lot of people were. I think the thing with that show is that the first season was undoubtedly, a, er, undoubtedly a great season. Everyone liked The Walking Dead for season one, of course. Season two, a lot of people called it boring, and then it's sort of been hit or miss ever since then. I think it's definitely recovered as a show, but personally, you know, I kind of watched some of the later seasons on Momentum. I haven't watched the newest season. I almost have kind of given up on the show, which is kind of sad because it really was a great show when it first came out. Is that a tank? Oh my god, again? Again, again. Seriously? He's after me this time. No! No tank, sir! Sir! I don't know what you've heard. I don't know what you've heard, but I... I definitely... Oh my god. Well, guys, I distracted him. Now go on without me, because I am definitely done. Oh, they're actually saving me. This is more consideration than I ever gave you. And you're healing me, too. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't necessary. Although, I will take it. 
I'm sorry this happened to you. That's what Rick says to that uh, that crawling zombie in like episode two. To the lift. To the lift. They always make us do these noisy things that are totally going to attract zombies. Guys, you all went the wrong way. The lift is over here. Idiots. Everyone get up here. Alright, here we go. I wonder, like, how long is The Walking Dead going to go on for? And actually, you know what You know what I really wonder is... How long are zombies going to be popular for? When The Walking Dead first came out, zombies were really peaking in popularity. Certainly zombies are still quite popular, but I don't feel like they're as popular as they used to be anymore. They just aren't. That, that happens, you know? Like, there was a time when... E oh, I just found a hole, guys. Guys, come down to me. Come down to me. Come down to me, everyone. Don't leave me down here alone. Oh, God. Oh, this is like shooting fish in a barrel. There's a fat one down there. Get him. Get these guys. But there was a time when people lost their shit over the Wild uh, over Wild West movies. Like, everyone wanted to see cowboys. Cowboys were the thing. Clint Eastwood. I don't know, Maverick. What other cowboy movies are there? Well, they're just dropping down like... Like, I don't know what. Yeah, just die already, you stupid zombies! But, you know, the Wild West went away. And then it was sci-fi for a while, and that went away. Now it's sort of like superheroes and zombies. But zombies, I feel like, are on the way out. You may hate me for saying it. And I'm not saying that, like, nobody will ever watch another zombie movie. But they definitely have sort of peaked in popularity, and they're on the decline, I think. And you know what? Honestly, I think superheroes eventually will go the same way, too. I love superhero movies. But, you know, these things, they come in cycles. There's a toilet in here. Anyone need to go? Because I'm not stopping again. No? No response? I thought it was a pretty good joke. You could at least, like, give me a sympathy laugh. Dicks. Uh, where are we going, anyway? This way. Oh, okay. I guess my guy knows where I'm going. <laughs> Funny when my character knows more than me. I will say one thing about this game is that... Although it feels like it's easy to get lost and not know where to go, it usually isn't too bad in terms of figuring out where you have to go. Although, as I say it, I think I am, I am actually lost. Oh, there's a door. You know, Valve is very good at making sort of natural gameplay where, like, you just figure out how to do it through playing. And... Ugh. Oh, God. Help me. Somebody help me. I, there's like a billion zombies attacking me right now. Guys, if, if anyone if anyone could please help. Oh my god. Okay, I, I'm gonna heal myself. Just gonna take one here. Man, look at Francis. He's like covered in goop. He's like, screw my life. Forget it. Alright, where are we going here? Where are we going here, guys? We crossed the street to a building. Then we went down on the street. And we went to like a pawn shop. I don't even know where we're headed, honestly. Ah, oh, damn it! Ugh. Look at that zombie. Lights off. Oh God! What? Where? Where is she? Which one is she? I don't want to accidentally shoot the. Uh... Oh God! Got him. Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's getting angry. I startled the witch! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at her! She's terrifying. This is a witch that... Holy crap. Oh god. She like literally almost took me out. That is freaking terrifying. No, guys, somebody has to save me! Save me! I only have 21 hit points and they're going fast. Oh god, I guess I'll take some painkillers. I could really use some medication. Okay, I'm just going for it. I don't have time to wait for you guys. Though this is how you get killed, going off alone in horror movies. They always make such bad decisions in horror movies, and you're like, why would anyone do that? Meanwhile, I'm running off completely by myself. 
I only have so much time to live, guys. Oh, freaking hell. Health. Health. Please, health. Help me. Okay, well, I got some more pills, actually. <gasps> yes! The director! You're on my side, aren't you? Wait, how do I... How do I do this? How do I heal myself? There we go. Oh, man. Woo! Feeling fine. Although, now I hear another witch. Did we go through here? Oh! What the fuck? I thought that was another witch. Okay, lights off. It's this sort of reminds me of like when you were a kid. If uh, you were scared or something, you would just close your eyes and hope it didn't get you. Okay. Trying not to startle the evil witch. Hopefully, this doesn't startle her. Just unloading a whole clip of M16 in a confined tunnel. Okay, get that. I guess we're supposed to go the other way. I, I, now I don't actually know where we're supposed to go. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot, dude. Shoot, dude. Oh, God, everyone's, like, going down right now. Oh, my God. Everyone is in, like, a lot of trouble. Oh, here we go. This is the exit. I know it. Guys, we're about to win. Hospital. Yes. Here we go, here we go. Just run for it, dudes. The evacuation center is closed. Ah, uh, well, guess what? We're just, we, we just reopened it. Guys, hurry, 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 hurry. We'll just lock them out. See ya. <laughs> Fine. Fine, I'll let you guys in. Even you, Lewis. Well, I think that was a, the music of a tank showing up. Ugh. Not that musical tune. Okay, so my original strategy, or my original plan, was that I was going to um, play this, played like two s stories of this game. I think I'm actually only gonna play one, just given how the time is going. Um, I wanna start cutting down on their like hour and a half of videos. I, Cause I feel like this, we're getting a number of levels. It's pretty fun, we're getting a good sense of this game. Do we really need to go through a whole nother campaign? Maybe I'll load one up just so you can see the difference, but I'm definitely not gonna go through it all. That said, welcome to the, like a hospital is the worst place to go in a zombie apocalypse. Cause it's just full of like sick and dying people. And then they all become zombies. And people wonder why they don't survive the zombie apocalypse. Ammo. See, I can get the sniper rifle and an automatic shotgun and stuff. I love the M16. It is my gun. So, that's why I'm using what I am. Look at these guys. They're having like a little zombie business meeting in here. Were you screening for zombie prostate cancer? Oh god, that was a headshot. Now, if I was really trying to do well in this game, I'd probably go back for ammo instead of going forward, but we're just gonna go. Blew that guy's knees off. Hey, you. Hey, get out of here. Stay on the ground. Whoa! And I just got covered in the crap that's going to summon a billion zombies. Sorry, guys. I know I need to take a shower. It's disgusting. Okay, something I haven't told you guys yet. I am the traitor in the group. In every zombie movie and TV show you've ever watched, and also in The Matrix, there's a traitor. There's one guy who's pretending to be good, but really he's just in it for himself. And he, even though he owes people his life because they saved him, he ain't gonna return the favor. When we get to the roof, I'm just gonna fucking bail on all of them. 
I'm not gonna help them. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna save myself. I'm gonna get on the helicopter and leave them all to die. Where is this witch? Sometimes they spawn her in like a really inconvenient location. God. Okay, well, if you're in there, I don't want to know. Oh my god. I don't want to explore any of those dark rooms. Let's just, guys, let's, let's just get out of here. Come on, Lewis. Oh god. Imagine being so fat that, like, you exploded when somebody shot you. That's, like, really fat. That's, like, diabetes fat. Oh, God! Or tank fat! Now, this is, this is clearly a zombie who needs to be in a hospital because he's been hitting the gym so much it's become unhealthy. He's unhealthy strong. Did we get him? Freaking zombie. Oh, thanks. Thanks for using your medkit on me. Keep in mind, guys, I am going to betray everyone here. I am in it just for myself. Now, oh, I guess that is death. We're not supposed to go down there. All right, guys. I got totally turned around here. Where are we supposed to go now? Out towards this green thing, I'm guessing. Happened at this hospital. It's almost as if some kind of outbreak occurred. All right, here we go. Anytime they give you ammo, you know ammo you're here. about to have a big showdown. Ready. Stuff's about to get real. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh god, they do not like us using the elevator. You just hear them all screaming. Oh god! Oh whoa! What the hell happened? Who was supposed to be guarding this wall? Who was supposed to be guarding this wall? I'm just hiding behind you guys. Hey, somebody fell out of the roof! We got... It's raining zombies. Let's keep reloading on, on uh, unlimited ammo here. Oh, God. I hear, like, a tank or something. Kill them all! This is the real medicine you came to the hospital for. Oh my god. Oh shit. What's in here? Anything? Anything good? Nope. I guess I should be helping you guys. Oh man. You know, I gotta say, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I do not think I would survive. I know some people say like, oh, I would totally survive a zombie apocalypse. I'm not that cocky. I don't think I have... Whoa, what the hell? Did something just move there? I can't get over how fast they all are. It's not even fair. I'm calling zombie bullshit on that, you know? They're not allowed to be so fast. You said it. Something's going on here. Ready? Yep. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you know I'm about to betray you? At the end, I'll shoot her in the foot. In those sweet Chuck Taylors. And she'll be limping behind me. I'll be la I'll be on the helicopter like, go, go, go! Don't worry about them. They're probably infected. Maybe my guy's an, uh, like an army dude, so he would know how to like fly a helicopter. Okay. You know, one time I was playing this, and I got to this point, and the tank showed up, and it like punched somebody off the roof, and they just went flying, and it was like, well, I guess they're gone now. I think it was my friend who this this game gave her nightmares. Punched her clean off the roof, which is kind of a kind of a cheap way to go, if you ask me. Because I mean, you can go from full health just to dead, one hit kill. Okay. I guess in the original version of this game, you could go through these levels multiple ways. Um, but during the playtesting, I think what they found is that the playtesters would get confused. And so they changed the levels to be more linear. So you do, I mean, it's it's a roundabout path always. 
but it's linear in the sense that there's really only one main way, one real way of getting through the level. I kind of wish that there was multiple possible ways to get through a level, but I understand why it's not there, you know? I mean, this game is very... As I say, it's hard to get lost. It's hard to not know where to go. It's also hard to not understand the zombie mechanics, because the nice thing is, if you, even if you're playing by yourself, you have no idea what you're doing. You'll get little prompts, and also you'll watch the AI companions do things, and they'll kind of show you how to play the game properly. Okay. What were all these zombies doing hanging out, out on the roof? It's like wherever we go, zombies are there too. Are the zombies also trying to get in the helicopter? Because I got news for them. There is not room for a bunch of zombies on the helicopter. They are going to be sad pandas when they find out that. They've been waiting here for weeks for a helicopter? And they don't even get to go on? Oh, what, what, what? Thanks for saving me, guys. I will repay that one day, I swear. Not gonna leave y'all for dead. I wouldn't do that. Does Francis look like the betraying type? Oh wait, I'm not Francis, am I? This is it, guys. All right. We've reached the end of some kind of road here. Uh, do I want the pipe bomb or the other thing? I guess I should heal myself and take that extra med kit. Wrap some old bandages on my body here. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Who wraps bandages on themselves and then goes, Ugh. Like, it's not like bandages are refreshing. In fact, they're probably the opposite of refreshing. If you ask me. Alright. What do these notes say, by the way? Uh, it takes at least four days to change. No, it doesn't. Three days. Two and a half hours. I saw it happen in five minutes. Jeez. Uh, what's this say? Move during days. That's vampires, moron. No zombie is safe in sh from Chicago Ted. Chicago Ted? That is an awesome name. Oh, man, I wish my name was that awesome. Gaming J seems lackluster in comparison. Remain calm. Do not attempt... What does that say? To contact friends, families, or pets. Geez, even pets can be contaminated. I love the little details that Valve puts into their games. I mean, I guess we haven't talked about the big kind of Valve issue, which is the fact that they have not put out Fallout... or not Fallout 3, Half-Life 3. And there's a good chance they may never, or at least not in the immediate future. Um, and it's really just because there's no need for them to do it. They're being... they're so successful with Steam right now that to put out Half-Life 3 and have it disappoint their fans and get a whole bunch of backlash as a result... I mean, that would just hurt their business, so why why bother doing it? Um, this is all from an article I read, by the way, the sort of theory of what's going on. Why Valve has such a hard time releasing the third entry in a game. I'm really hoping they put out a Portal 3, though, because I loved Portal. Portal 1 and Portal 2 are probably one of my favorite games of all time. Or two of my favorite, I guess I should say. So, I'm holding out hope that... Oh, God! The tank! Oh, good! I think he just died. I think we're safe. Oh, oh! Zombies coming in through the vents. We got boomers. We're doing pretty good, I would say. Oh! <laughs> of course, as I say that... As I say that, we get totally... I get grabbed by someone's tongue. Ugh. I don't even know what would have to happen to your body after you die for your tongue to be able to, like, yank people from a far distance. But it disgusts me. Okay, here we are on the roof. There's the landing pad. Uh, infected with zombies, as it always is. Having a dance party, it seems. They're all just kind of standing in the middle of the pad, swaying awkwardly. I don't know what they're waiting for, how they ended up here. I'm going with dance party. It's the only answer that makes a lick of sense. Like, look! Those those zombies are kind of, like, raving out. Oh, this is just sad. I don't even have to use my good gun. Mercy Hospital. Pick up the radio. Hospital, pick up radio. Yeah, we're getting to it, buddy. Where... Where's this guy who wants me to pick up the radio? Hold on, we gotta sweep and clear. We gotta clear. Alright, guys. 
We're getting near, we're getting close to betrayal time here. What do you guys think of this game so far? So I would say that the pros of this game are that it is a very fun shooter. It definitely, it has a huge co-op component. And especially with friends, this game gets quite fun. One downside I will say is that I don't actually know how much replay value there is in this in this game. Because honestly, like, yeah, you could play the, the levels over and over again. The director does actually mix things up for you. But then the downside is that, like, you still are playing the same levels over and over again. And so it only ever gets, like, so interesting, you know? Like, I don't know if it's just me or not, but... Oh, there's a machine gun up there. That's mine. Nobody use it. I'm going to summon the rescue, and then I know all shit's going to break loose, so I'm getting to that machine gun. Why did you close the door, dude? Defend yourselves. Oh, trust me, I'll defend us all to the bitter end. Oh, so satisfying. Yeah, I mean, oh god. It's a good shooter, but despite the efforts to give it lots of replay value, like, I would personally say that for myself, after playing these levels a handful of times, they would lose replay value for me. Um, so, yeah, I don't, it, it's hard to say, like, I mean, I know tons of people, Left 4 Dead has a huge fan base, by the way, and I'm not saying that people who replay it are wrong, or they're not doing it right. I'm just saying, like, for me, I could see it losing, I could see myself losing interest after I play this too much, and I think that's what did happen, because... You know, as I say, I've, I've had this game for like 10 years. Um, I got it when it came out. Hey, what happened? What happened? You guys need help or something? Because I'm not going to help you. Just focusing on my turret. What's that zombie doing out over there? Let's fill him with bullets. Yeah. Go off the roof. Did I kill him? Oh, man. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a very well made game, a very tight game. Oh god, um, it it is scary at times. The shooting controls are done well. The levels are designed very well. It's everything you would expect from Valve, and it really does feel like an awesome survival game. So, you know what? Like overall, this is definitely a game you should play before you die. Is it a game without fault? I would just say no, because I mean, well. It doesn't have many faults, but one of the only faults it does have is that... This is for these guys, by the way. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's totally a tank that's coming. Oh, my God, guys. Ready to jump off the building here. I'm, I'm kind of leaving them to their own devices here. Whoa! Did you see that guy go flying? Oh, God. Well, good luck with the tank, guys. I'm just going to wait to be rescued over here. Aw, oh, we can't let old Zoe die, though. Eh, yeah, we'll help him. Anyway, this is not a game without faults, but it definitely... the on My only one real complaint about it is, you know, the replayability. I could see being an issue. I wish there was more randomness to the levels. You know, if it had sort of like Diablo-style levels where the levels were random, that'd be pretty cool. It'd also be cool if there was like something more to it rather than just constantly, you know, every game being unrelated to the next. Like if you could earn something by doing well, level after level. I guess what I'm really talking about is like turning the game into something like, uh, not Destiny, but like Diablo or something. But I mean, that's just not what this game is. For the game that, that they've produced, this is a terrific game. You should play this game before you die. There, I said it. In a very long, roundabout, and Jay-like manner. I'm not one known for brevity. Get away from me, zombies. You guys are messing up my, my strategy to betray the group. How am I supposed to betray the group if I need them to survive? Okay, guys, here you go. Here you go. That simultaneously will kill the zombies. And... Oh god, get away, you freaking zombies. And you'll simultaneously kill the zombies and my friends. Oh god. Where is this helicopter? Can I just say that? Where is this freaking helicopter? Hold on. 
Ah, you ma you're making me feel bad for betraying you. Oh, here's the helicopter. We have to somehow get on before everyone else. Oh my god! Oh, isn't it just the way the guy who tries to betray everyone gets attacked? And again! They, they're, the zombies are onto me. The director's like, oh, you don't get to betray people. Are they leaving me to die? Oh, there's another tank! This is catastrophic, guys. Oh my god. Where is this helicopter? Oh no, I'm the one being left behind. Where is it? Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is! Ah, oh, damn it, they're all getting there. No, 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 no! I think I'm, I'm limping because I'm hurt. No, what are you guys doing? You guys should go fight the tank, trust me. There's no reason for us all to get on this helicopter. I'm gonna get on, and... Ah, oh, damn it, they all got on. My plan to betray them backfired or failed. You know what? Actually, I'm just realizing right now, this game reminds me of DayZ, for obvious reasons. And that is a game that I have never played, but I've watched so many, like, trolling and fail videos and stuff online. I really want to try DayZ sometime. I will play that for my, uh, my alternative series, my non-Let's Play 1001 game series, just for fun sometime. Well, I guess we got the happy ending, which was counter to my goals. I spent half the game being a sleeper agent, trying to betray everyone, and in the end I needed more help than anyone else, and I didn't get to betray anyone. So, I don't know what to make of that. Guys, I personally recommend this as a game you should try before you die, especially if you have a couple friends. This is a great one to kick back on a Saturday evening and play for a couple of rounds. Um, you have to work as a team. There's a lot of coordination. It's a really fun game, uh, despite my complaint that the, the replayability... It still has tons of replayability, by the way. I'm not saying you can't replay this game. Just I wish maybe there were more levels or something. But of course, there is Left 4 Dead 2, which is a terrific game. I did not own that one, but I have, have heard amazing things, and I've played it before. So it's another one you might want to check out. Um, Cursed Monkey did pretty good in terms of the score, although a few things he's kind of low on. <laughs> Jesus, we killed 1,400 zombies between the four of us. That's like, what, 400 kills per person almost? 350? Awesome. Guys, if you have liked this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, or leave me a comment down below. I'm always curious to hear what you have to say. Um, and I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. Oh, I think I said I would show just what the other chapters are. So... In terms of campaign, there's one to make your way to the hospital, one to make your way to uh, Waterfront Rescue, which is like a cabin, one to head to an airport, and one to head to the military. But just so you can see, there you go, getting a totally another, a different movie poster, you get all new levels if you try these other um, stories or whatever. And actually, these stories do link up. And you can look online to find out how they link up. It's kind of interesting. The, they went very light on the plot in this game, but if you read between the lines, there's actually a consistent plot across these different um, campaigns. Anyway, guys, once again, take care of yourselves. All right, peace. As if hordes of zombies were not enough. You need one zombie who spends way too much time at the gym and has a bit of a steroid problem if we're being honest with ourselves. Like that zombie is not a healthy zombie. <laughs> He's, at the very least he has some rage issues.